Hi, today we're going to be talking about the volume displacement method. So here you can see that I have a graduated cylinder and it is measured to 50 milliliters. Here I have a small beaker filled to approximately 30 milliliters and then I have my two little teddy bears here. Now what I want to do is take the volume of these bears, but I cannot measure them um, because they are irregularly shaped. So what I'm going to do is use the volume displacement method. The volume displacement method tells me that I will take my original amount of fluid, which is 30 milliliters in here, and when I place my bear into this water, it's the water level is going to increase. And all I have to do is just take the difference between that increase of water and the original amount of water, and that is my volume. So here I have my tiny little teddy bear, my little yellow guy here, and I'm just going to drop him into the water, okay? As you can see here, one, the the bear is floating, but two, you can see that the volume has increased. Now, mind you, this doesn't have um, little tick marks on the side here to show you how much it rose, but based on what we can see here, it's about two, 32. So 32 minus 30, and let's just say it is 32, okay? 32 minus 30 would give you two milliliter difference. So that two milliliter is the, um, Volume, the new volume based on the volume displacement method. Now let's just, let's see what's going to happen when we place this big red bear into our water. So it's back at 30. And now this little guy, let's just push him down a little further, um, is, has pushed the water level a little higher than half it, than between the 30 and the 40. So we can say that's approximately um, 30. 6, 37, we'll call it 37. So the difference between the 37 and 30 would be seven milliliters. So there's a seven milliliter difference in between, and that's the volume displacement method. Now, to get a better representation of this, and I don't remember this one, this one will get stuck, so I'm not gonna put that one, but I have a smaller bear, and I'm going to use this bear um, to determine if two was the, was the proper amount because this one does have little tiny tick marks of ones in between. Or was it two? No, two. So let's drop this in and see what happens. Okay, so let's see how far it rose. Let's try and focus in. So here is our 50 mils and it rose up to approximately one, to, to the second, let me see one more time. Okay, we always wanna measure when the graduated cylinder is down. Okay, so it's approximately four, so 54. So that, because this line right here is 60 at the halfway point, so it's right here at four, so this, um, 54 minus 50 would be four milliliters. And hopefully that explains volume displacement for you. Okay, we can take our, because this is wire, that's why I'm using this bear. Okay, we can take our bear and we can measure that and we can determine the difference between the original volume to the new volume level. And the difference between that is the volume displacement.